Patricia, how uh, has your campaign been going? campaign's been going very well indeed. We're getting a fantastic reception on doorsteps. And it certainly uh, locally bears out the national opinion polls that are showing a huge swing to the SNP. So I'm very happy. I'm mindful that we've got two weeks to go. And I will continue to work hard with so will my team to convince the people of Mid Scotland and Glen Rothies to re elect me as their MSP. And what are the main issues that people are raising with you? The main issues that people are raising with me are jobs, uh, concern about um, their family incomes and obviously mortgages, lack of housing, uh, these are the main issues on the doorstep. And has anybody raised the issue of care homes, which is obviously an emotive issue locally? I have had it raised once or twice, and I think in response to um, a newspaper that Labour put out. And I've got to say that, you know, Labour have shown a lot of hypocrisy over this issue, because there is only one party in Fife that has ever closed care homes, and that's the Labour Party. They closed Parkdale in Leven, um, and you know they are the only party that has ever closed care homes. Gordon Brown obviously visited uh, the constituency yesterday. Uh, do you think visits by national politicians uh, play any part in people's uh, perception of the party's campaigns? Well, Gordon Brown has obviously been rolled out to support the Labour candidate, and you know it's perfectly appropriate that national politicians do. I was extremely grateful for Alex Salmon coming to Glen Rothies a few weeks ago, not just to support me, um, but to see for himself uh, the work that's been done in Tullis Russell after the Scottish Government invested the money that will protect 500 jobs there. Do you think they have any effect on people's voting intentions? No, I think people will make up their own mind. I think they will make up their mind based both on the campaign locally. I think um, in terms of how strong the candidate is, whether the candidate actually lives here. And I'm delighted that you know I have um, never sought election in any election that I have not lived in the constituency. People recognise the fact that I'm well known in this town. Um, and they recognise the record that I've had both as the constituency MSP and the list MSP since 1999.